And the French President Emmanuel Macron is speaking. Let's take a listen. Fierté, parce que cette cathédrale, il y a plus de 800 ans, 800 years ago, we knew how to defy it through the centuries and to improve it. And so I say to you quite solemnly this evening, this cathedral is one that we will rebuild all together and is without part of the French destiny and the project that we will have for the future years. And I commit myself to this, and tomorrow a national subscription will be launched and well beyond our borders. We will appeal for the greatest talent, and there are many of them who will come and contribute, and we will rebuild it. We will rebuild Notre Dame, because that is what the French people are expecting. That is what our history is worthy of because it is our deep destiny. I thank you. All right, you were just listening to the French president, Emmanuel Macron, who is on site in Paris city centre, uh, meters away, we believe, from the medieval cathedral of Notre Dame, one of the most uh, iconic monuments in the French capital. And you heard the president there. He said, we're going to rebuild this. We are going to appeal. We're going to use all the talents that we can find internationally to come back to Paris and rebuild this and make it as good as it was. And uh, in, uh, with some lyricism, uh, Macron is known for this. He said, mm -hmm. this, is the, uh, this is our destiny. Uh, this is the destiny of France. Yeah, uh, you know, the good news in all of this uh, is that what the, we heard the French president say earlier, uh, that the worst had been avoided regarding the Notre Dame uh, Cathedral fire. In fact, uh, the French secretary to the interior minister said that both towers mm -hmm. of the Notre Dame Cathedral are safe. The fire, as you can see, much weaker. All you see is a faint orange glow at this point, much smaller than when we saw uh, just an hour ago where the flames seem to be engulfing much of this historic cathedral. Uh, the question now, though, is, were the works of art, the mm. relics inside the cathedral, have they been saved? That is the big question. The other big question is, what is the cause of this fire? Was it related to the renovations? Was there something deliberate? Again, we don't know at this time. Let's bring in uh, Jim Bitterman, who's standing by live for us from Paris. And Jim, I mean, you're a resident. Uh, just tell us your thoughts on, on uh, President Macron's words there, where he's promising the country we will rebuild because that is our history. It's our history that is worthy of. I, I think it's what everybody expected. I, it's hard to imagine that anyone uh, could take a look at what happened tonight and not say that they were going to try to rebuild the cathedral. It is such a symbol for this country and such a cultural icon. Uh, and uh, I, I think he said what a lot of people expected him to say. And it was interesting, that picture of him making the comment about that was he was surrounded by, in fact, some of his uh, political opponents were around him in the background. So I think it was a show of unity as far as the uh, country is concerned and what the intentions will be to rebuild the cathedral. Uh, it is uh, just a, a sad, sad loss. It's, it's unbelievable, and it still hasn't sunken in yet, I don't think, for a lot of people. Uh, it'll take, take time to realize how, uh, what a major loss this, uh, this is. Sure. And Jim, as we look at the pictures, certainly the situation seems much better than it was a couple hours ago, uh, shortly after the fire started, but we have to assume that the firefighting is going to continue throughout the night. I think so. I, the, the firemen will be on scene, no doubt about it, uh, for a long time, uh, probably way into the morning, I would think, because they've got to get uh, things cooled down. I think uh, inside, the, one of the things the firemen said was that temperatures inside were, were very, very high indeed because uh, of the airspace, that, 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 uh, the oxygen that uh, allowed the timbers to uh, burn. There were uh, the equivalent of 21, 40, 42 acres, 21 hectares, of forests uh, were used to build the supports for the roof of Notre Dame. Uh, hundreds of oak trees were felled to build the roofs, and those oak trees were 800 years old uh, and have gone up in smoke tonight. It was that's one of the reasons of the fire burned so furiously, and so the hope that some of the things inside may have been saved. 
Um, it seems very remote at this point uh, because of the heat involved inside. It would have incinerated quite a bit. Uh, as you know, Cyril, the, the organ in Notre Dame, famous, and had just been restored uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, the bells, among the, the bells, uh, were, there was a, a ceremony in 2013 to reinaugurate uh, nine of the bells of Notre Dame. What's happened to them? Uh, it's hard to, hard to know at this point, but it'll take some time before uh, they can assess the damage and, and really see how bad it is. But uh, it must be, I think, heartening for the French uh, tonight to hear the president say, look, we rebuild, we're going to rebuild, uh, and we, we, we mean... We're going to remain loyal to our cultural heritage. Jim Bitterman, appreciate that. Uh, let's uh, head over to Melissa Bell, who's on the ground there. She's been there for the last few hours as huge crowds have been gathering, uh, gasping as they've been watching uh, the flames over Notre Dame. But also that scene has turned into one of really a vigil, prayer and, and hymns. You can hear those hymns right now behind Melissa Bell. And as Jim Bitterman was saying, Melissa, I mean, it... it, it it absolutely must be heartening and uh, calming and comforting to hear from the president who says we will absolutely rebuild. It is. Amr, we're also hearing more from Paris prosecutor's office saying that they now believe that this was not criminal, not a criminal act in its intent. And that's important because for the crowds who've been gathered out here these last few hours, that's clearly been the big question. What caused this fire? What caused this fire so intense and so fast as it engulfed uh, the cathedral to begin with? And they are now saying that the investigation uh, that they're carrying out is into uh, an involuntary uh, a fire, uh, one that was started, we believe now, possibly in the attic of Notre Dame, but that was involuntary in its nature. So crucially that this was not, this is the very early stages of the investigation, a criminal act. That is one of the important questions for the crowds here tonight. But as you can see all around me, this is also a moment really just to gather. We're seeing still from where we're standing some of those flames that can continue to rage in the heart of Notre Dame still lapping up just beyond uh, the edge of the top there. We can just see them appearing from time to time. We can also see crucially the flashlights of the firefighters who've managed to make their way inside the structures, who've been inspecting uh, the damage on the outside of the edifice, in particular that iconic uh, facade. But uh, this really, for Parisians and uh, the Catholics in particular, who've gathered out here tonight, and it's very late here in Paris, they've been singing hymns, as you can hear around me, for several hours now, uh, praying as well. And the important thing you sense was to gather for those faithful uh, to gather around and come together uh, on this particularly tragic evening. I have with me Amara Max, who's been here from the very start. Max, you're a Parisian. Tell us a little bit. You've been here from the very beginning. You're going to be here, no doubt, like so many of these people for much of the night. Why are people here? Why are they staying? What does it mean? So basically, basically, as you've seen, it's like this cathedral is way more than a symbol. Uh, it's around 674 years old. So it's it's just one of the monument, monument, monument in Paris that you have to know, that you have to see. You take pictures with it. You, you're used to see it all around. So seeing it, burning it, burning to flames, burning down, it's just so awful from everyone living here, especially us, me, and you can see it, everyone is, is just singing, but not. it's not a, a happy saying, of course, it's just something to support everyone and just, you know, to go through the moment.